Hello, my name's Chris Hopkins and I've been asked to speak to you about the offence of causing death by dangerous driving. By virtue of the fact you're watching this, it may mean that either yourself or somebody that you know has had the unfortunate experience of being involved in a fatal road traffic collision, which has led to the possibility that either yourself or that person might be investigated or prosecuted for the offence of causing death by dangerous driving. The test which the courts apply for whether somebody is guilty or not of death by dangerous driving is whether the driver's standard of driving fell far below the standard to be expected of a competent and careful driver. They will also have to show that it would have been obvious to a careful and competent driver that your standard of driving was dangerous. The offence may also apply where the prosecution show that you have been driving a vehicle which in its current state would have been dangerous. These offences will be investigated by the police and they will, if prosecuted, be dealt with by the Crown Prosecution Service. The Crown Prosecution Service, or CPS, have a series of policies which they follow which determine whether or not prosecution will be taken. Those policies identify a series of types of driving which will rega be regarded as dangerous by the CPS. That includes circumstances in which deaths have followed from drivers who have been racing, drivers who have been driving aggressively, or drivers who have been driving too quickly for the road conditions or weather. The CPS will also have to show that the other person's death resulted from your standard of driving. These offences are tried and sentenced in the Crown Court, and there are defences available, the most obvious of which is where there was a mechanical defect unknown to you with your vehicle. These offences are serious, and they carry a maximum sentence of 14 years imprisonment in the Crown Court. Sentencing guidelines apply, which effectively guide the court in order to reach a fair and appropriate sentence for drivers convicted of this offence. And these weigh in factors such as how far below the standard of a careful and competent driver did your standard of driving fall, and also any aggravating and mitigating factors which may apply to your particular case. Credit is available from a Crown Court for where a driver pleads guilty at their earliest available opportunity, and it is for that reason that will often be prudent for a driver to obtain early legal advice in these matters.